Millions of people all over the world love to play hockey. So Millions. What happens if you want to play, but you can't skate? Well, here in Eugene, Oregon, we found a solution to this non-existent problem. The answer is a broom. Well, not this kind. <laughs> Hello. Actually, it wasn't that funny. This may be a hockey rink. It is. These guys aren't playing hockey. They're not. A unique local sport called broom ball. Broom ball is played on it. Why are they interviewing Vinny Testaverde? Tom Faden is one of the best broom ball players in America. And one of the worst shoes. hockey players in his high school. Shoes. You've got a, a ball that's the size of a size two soccer ball. And a bunch of guys who are chuck full of charisma like me. Hanson Sports have come all the way from St. Paul, Minnesota to play here in Eugene, Oregon. It's raining in Oregon? That's weird. Ball challenge. I hate this stupid bag. Eight of the most competitive teams in the country is here. Some might call it the Elite Eight. Others, the entire league. They're good. A lot of speed, a lot of size. And a lot of bristles in their brooms. Yeah, best in the country. You can't just go out there and say you're the best or have somebody say you're the best. Yet. Of course you can. See Terrell Owens. This day, it doesn't look like anyone is weak. I can save better than that by hitting Control S. Rounds, winning their quarterfinal game against Team Oregon, 16 zip. But in Team Oregon's defense, they were using dust busters. Good broom, sweet broom, way to broom, nice broom, good broom, way to broom, nice broom, and sweet broom. Which Hanson Sports will face another highly regarded team from Minnesota. These guys. At the beginning of the second half, the play gets fast and furious and a lot more physical. But still no skating. Take that, broom boy. Get him a dustpan. The flames try to catch fire, but Hansen ices them down. Just when you think Moriarty is out of puns, bam, he hits you with a double shot. He's that wonderful. In overtime, the team... Oh, great. Overtime. ...instead of five, and to make it even more exciting... We've replaced the brooms with AK-47s. ...whoever is ahead when five minutes is up wins. What would it mean to go back to Minnesota with this victory? This would be huge. Room ball of Ruzioni. Cameras are here for them. Everything, the limelight's on them. For us to go back and win this would be the greatest. Even greater than the time Gary Gaetti hit on my girlfriend at the Mall of America. Eventually, they are assessed a two-minute penalty for delay of game. Every player on that ice should be assessed a penalty for delay of adulthood. The Flames are in danger of being snuffed out. How does Moriarty do it? A slim opening appears, and number 99, Joey Landino... The great one! He ...runs the ball down the side. Ah, uh, this reminds me of all those times Wayne Gretzky would run the ball down the side. ...shot, and unbelievably, it bounces in off the sliding Fred Clifford. If this was in Columbia, that Hanson player would be dead by now. Brian Kenny's already working on this guy's You Can't Blame. But number 77, Stuart Hansen, quickly evens the score. Wait, it's not over? Half minutes remain to play. Then a minute later, Ira Hackner takes a wild... Ira Hackner, classic sports name. ...actually goes in. Hansen is up three... I think the crowd is just the University of Oregon JV hockey team waiting to practice. The clock is down to 10 seconds. Sweet, it's over. Amazing diving shot. Joey Landino ties the score. Do you believe in Landinos? Yes! Sends the championship game into double overtime. Double overtime. Three to three. Yay. Overtime. Forget about it. Now it's a 15 minute sudden death. First one is. But here's the catch. Only one player from each team is on the ice, and they're both blindfolded. Hansen makes another assault. That's the last thing America needs. Another Hansen assault. Twice. There's a mad scramble after the ball. Joe Landino passes. The great Landino. Clear. He winds up, and it's all over. They still can't skate, right? Right. Here's my question. If there's a sweep in a broom ball series as a fan, do you bring a broom? Nope. Swiffer.